up, everybody? It's Alexis. Uh, I'm gonna turn this way and maybe the sound will be a little bit better even if the lighting is weird. So I'm in cafe right now. Um, I don't know, the coffee bean. Uh, in Hongdae. Uh, it's been quite the day. Yesterday, so it's Saturday right now. Yesterday was Friday. Yesterday, uh, I uh, was also mostly unplanned for me and Rodrika and didn't, didn't go the smoothest. Today was also unplanned for me, but went fabulously. So last night at the Olympics, at the, on the way back from opening ceremonies, and we were waiting in the line for the shuttle bus that was forever long. We waited, it took an hour from when we left opening ceremonies to getting on the shuttle bus. It was so cold. Anyway, in line, we met somebody, uh, her name is Ailey. Right, Ailey? I was like, your name is Ailey? She was like, yes, and I was like, I'm sorry, this Korean singer named Ailey who I love a lot. I'll never forget your name. She spells it differently though. Anyway, we met Ailey and I think she had, might have had some Team USA gear on, so we were like, you're American, we're American, let's hang out. And we got on the, we were next to each other in line for the shuttle bus, so like we took the shuttle bus together, and then it turned out we were on the same train back from Jinju to Seoul Station, so like hung out a little bit and talked, and um, she's by herself in Seoul, and she leaves tomorrow. Uh, she mentioned wanting to see the Meerkat Cafe, and I was like, I want to see the Meerkat Cafe. So it started, I met up with Ailey, she was staying near City Hall, and I was in Seoul Station, and we wanted to go to Hongdae, and that's on the City Hall Number 2 line. So I went up to City Hall to meet her. Well, across the street from the City Hall station is a palace, and I forget the name right now, but I'll look it up, um, that I hadn't been to, so we like went over to the palace, looked around that, and that was cool, and then I was telling her how uh, the statue of King Sejong and Gwangamun and Yongbokgung Palace were all just like farther up the street. So we started walking up that way. I hadn't eaten or had any coffee yet that day. So I was like, wait, but on the way, can we please stop at Starbucks? Because I know there's a Starbucks right here. I remember it from last time. So we stopped in the Starbucks. The line was forever long. So she was like, hey, what about that Holly's coffee that was like two shops back? And I was like, yeah, I'm not brand loyal. I don't care. Let's go to the other coffee shop. So we leave the Starbucks to go to Holly's coffee. And two Korean girls stop us on the street and say, hello, we are students and volunteers with this group and um, we're doing this thing today where you can come with us and wear hanbok and do a traditional Korean New Year's ceremony. It takes 15 minutes to get there and then the ceremony takes 20 minutes. Do you want to come with us? And we were like, whoa. Ailey had literally been saying, a few minutes before how she had tried on a hanbok by herself the day before and she really wanted to do it again. I've never done anything where they show you how to wear a hanbok um, and it sounded really cool so we were like yeah sure we can go to palaces whenever like we don't have any schedule today let's do it. But first can we get coffee? <laughs> so we still went in the coffee shop and got coffee and struck up conversation with these girls. Uh, they were both they were both named uh, Min Jong. They took us on the subway back to their volunteer organization, and we did this really cool. So at first, we were talking with these th these girls who thankfully knew English. Of course, they did because they were coming up to random foreigners and being like, "Hi, do you want to come with us and do this ceremony?" Um, their English was pretty good. I mean, compared to you know our Korean, which is non-existent, it was fabulous. We you know just talking to them about whatever like living in Korea and school and all sorts of stuff. I told them a lot about what I did the last time. Ailey's back. I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging while you're gone. They took us to the volunteer place to do this ceremony. So we get there, they sit us down and explain to us what they're going to do. And they took us through a traditional Korean New Year's ceremony. We They, they dressed us in hanbok. They wrote our names in hangul. I was pretty close on mine. I forgot one letter. And they showed us how to bow and what everything meant and then we did this ceremony it was really cool um it involved a lot of staring at the ground and bowing and continuously praying for a wish or hope or dream that you had for the year for life in general which was really cool and meant a lot to me for a lot of reasons um, like i definitely wanted to take time for like spiritual things on this trip. So it's like standing there in a room for 20 minutes praying about what I want for the future 
was really nice. Obviously, this trip makes me really nostalgic for the last time I was in Seoul. So when she said, do you have a wish or a hope? And, I was, and you know, we took turns saying them, and I was like, yeah. No, there's a friend I want to reconnect with. And they were like, oh, that's really sweet. I'm going to cry. And I was like, no, we won't cry. Um, so, like, then, and then we, at the end of the ceremony, we burned wish papers. And, you know, they said, the, do the ceremony, and then if you pray and burn the wish paper, then your wish comes true. So that, like, that meant a lot to me. That was really nice. And then after the ceremony was over, and we talked about it, and then we ate this giant plate of fruit and some uh, chocolate, um, oh yes, uh, snack cakes. I was like, I know oh yes snack cakes. Amber likes those. And it was just really cool. Like, that's so cool that they do that. Also, I didn't, me and Ailey were talking about this later. <laughs> she was like, it's really great that they didn't like kidnap us and take all our stuff. No point did I think that they would, you know, raid our stuff and steal our money or anything like that. Never crossed my mind. Never. So, it's good that didn't happen. It was fun. It was great. It was so cool. And then afterwards, uh, we went to the Meerkat Cafe. They're so cute. They're so cute. They had, so they had meerkats, they had wallabies, they had raccoons, a gannet, and an arctic fox. Maybe two arctic foxes, but one of them was like black brown, so I don't know if it was actually an arctic fox or some other kind of fox. Um, it was amazing. And we got to sit in a little pen with meerkats for 10 minutes while they crawled all over us and tried to burrow their way under our shirts, pretty much. And played with the loose threads on my pants. Ailey was like, you know, I really want to get barbecue. And I was like, I got this. By which I meant, I know what the tables look like in barbecue places, so if we look in windows of every restaurant we pass, eventually I'll be able to spot a barbecue place. <laughs> and we did, and we found a barbecue place, and it was great, and it was slightly cheaper than the one I went to last night. It was delicious. Um, and now we're in a random coffee shop. So today, not having any plans was amazing. Did, went to a palace, went to traditional Korean uh, New Year's ceremony, met these two Korean girls who like, we had a fabulous conversation with them all afternoon, and I got one of their cow talk, like my friends are cow talk now. Uh, went to Hongdae, Wander Hongdae, Meerkat Cafe, barbecue, coffee shop at Hongdae, tons of buskers, not buskers, but like street performers, doing K-pop dances. Uh, we saw, what, I saw people doing dope, DNA, red flavor, uh, wedding dress. I actually like yelled when red flavor started and Ailey thought like someone had attacked me. No, it's just a red dress. tomorrow also I can edit all the video like you're probably not gonna see this for a couple of days because I haven't edited any video since I've been here. I can't get the videos off my phone. That's anyway. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more updates.